Oh my! You guys are probably wondering what the hell me and David are doing. Oh. Well, you know, the spring anime just ended, well, ended a week ago, but originally ended, so we're gonna talk about it. And spring mm. was good or bad. David, just jump right in. Was uh, it good or bad? It, it was all over the place, really. Like, that, that's the downside to every anime season. You get those ones that are hyped up, you know, that, you know, are not as good as everybody puts them out to be. And then you get those ones that are, you know, those little hidden gems there. So, uh, okay. let's, let's start with one of those little hidden gems, and that's Fully Coolly Progressive. Now, a lot of people aren't going to consider this one of the, the anime of the spring season because it's dubbed and dubbed as trash, and, well, fuck you. Uh... <laughs> Hate those fuckers, man. Like it, it aired on Adult Swim for the last like six weeks. It's been fucking a phenomenal series. If you like batshit crazy fucking action, you know robot bullshit, you know like all that, you know teen angst and gratuitous fan service. Which uh, <laughs> I've got uh, a couple screenshots that'll be edited up here uh, in the actual video. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, um... Some mantis for the ladies. FBI, open up! <laughs> I still need to, uh, actually, uh, I'm only, I only watched two episodes because I, I haven't been watching TV as much. So, there's that. But, uh, I'll probably watch it probably today, to be honest, since I'm off. But yeah, you've only got four more episodes, man. It's not gonna take you, but like, <laughs> if you, if you so, harken back to one of the original f podcasts, like it, fully coolly holds this bizarre place in my heart because it was one of the most yes. out there fucking anime that I'd ever watched mm -hmm. as a kid. One of my favorites, actually, one of my favorite series of all time, anime series of all time. Now, I think that's we got a gem out of the way. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room, multiple elephants, in fact. So, I'm just going to have a mini corner and talk about one elephant in the room, and that is the Black Clover anime. So, you know, <laughs> it's all going. Uh, it will be concluded this current season, but we're not talking about this current season. So, this past spring season for Black Clover, it has gotten better than what we in initially got. However, it's the damage it, has already been done. Is it more it's than the meme of. Rah! Yeah, Asta doesn't really scream anymore, but, and the fillers have kind of like, have kind of went away. Although there's still some like hidden filler here and there, but the filler is essentially gone now. But you can tell that they just lost all, they just stopped caring about this anime. The budget well, is terrible. The animation, it's just felt like it was made by a 10 year old. It's well, I think a... what what happened is you, you saw how massively marketed it was by Crunchyroll as like the next Naruto, the next you know long ongoing series and this new style of animation, and you you see saw how people reacted to those first few episodes. Like, what the fuck is this? This is cancerous. This is this doesn't need to exist. This why is he screaming like a child? Why is he? fawning over the fucking nun why is he doing all of this shit and then people lost interest immediately because of how shitty those first few episodes are because we're in this generation of where attention spans are like fucking goldfish <laughs> yeah sad but true and i'm actually surprised that there are actually some diehard fans who have stuck with it and actually love the anime i mean to each their own my issue with the anime is the fact that it just makes characters not likable. Like, like Vanessa, they turned Vanessa into a slut, essentially. Like, in this past episode, they try to, like, make it seem like she tries to hit on Yuno, you know? Like, Vanessa is an actual really uh, thought out and great backstory character in the manga, so it kind of just, like, it kind of undermines what Tabata builds up in the, in, in the uh, manga, so... You can tell when a series actually stays true to its fucking, you know, source material, and you can tell when it divul diverges from that to the fullest extent. And I've been actually reading the manga, and I'm looking at, you know, clips from the fucking anime, I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is any of this shit? It's, it's, just, a, it's just, at this point, it's just there 
Stu Pirro was just trying to get it over with. Mm -hmm. And they and failed to capture because, that. Yeah, and it sucks because the kind of arcs that they're doing are actually really what made Black Clover Black Clover. Is what made people stay and read Black Clover. Like the Seabed Temple arc, uh, the Dungeon arc, and uh, the um, the arc uh, where, where Yami fights Lich. Like these are arcs that people loved. And not a, not a lot of the manga fans are kind of pissed off because they kind of ruined those. So it's it is what it is. But, I mean, you know, so as I, as nice as it is to be in this, you know, where we have the tw the one core, two core, and three core, you know, anime seasons, we also lose a lot of content that way because of how mm -hmm. they structure everything and pace everything. So that's the downside to this anime as well as because. Oh. They don't have the ability to pace it properly, at least in my opinion, because Perot's always been one of those studios that absolutely is abysmal at fucking pacing. You either get super sped up bullshit or you get super slow shit. <coughs> Naruto. Um, and Bleach. Oh, yeah. And Bleach, both. And Twin Star Crystals. But, so, my final rating for the, for the anime right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be lenient and give it a 6 because it got rid of a bunch of stuff that made it unbearable to watch. So right now, the anime is watchable right now. That's all it really is. It's not enjoyable, it's just watchable. I'll give them credit Enjoy. for redeeming it to at least a watchable category, but it, at this point, you know, just read the source material. It's a hell of a lot better. Yeah, it's it's honestly, it's at this point, we wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Just read the source material. And it's not an adaptation. Yeah, and going to, uh, like, ratings for, like, Fully Coolly Progressive, like, I gotta give that a 9 out of 10. The only part that I hate yeah. about it is the fact that it, they've done this again and made a super, super short season just to, you know, sate our appetite until Alternative comes out and that wraps up essentially the entirety of the story. So yeah. hopefully with Alternative, yeah. we see, you know, conclusions to everything and some redemption for Harder Cove, some, you know, potential you know, lore tying together shit for the medical mechanica and all that shit. But it's so really going to be interesting. Nine out of ten. So uh, let's talk about another elephant in the room. Uh, Darling in the Franks. Oh. Now, most of you might be thinking, well, wait a minute. Darling in the Franks isn't a spring. It started in winter. But no, no we're on the And now. we're going by the conclusion date here. And, uh... Um, yeah. So, let me see. Let, let's just let's just get our main points out there because we could make a we can make this whole video about why. Gundam, why. Evangelion, Lagan, and the Franks. Let's just, Jesus so, fucking Christ. Me, I'm, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with the positives. Positive start was great. Good action. Uh, we got built up for characters. Uh, you know, we start to learn about more characters. We, it, it was a great. We, the world building was kind of scarce, but... Well, I mean, were... to be fair, Thurman, they really, really dove into world building in the second core. <laughs> Whole bunches of worlds. I'm, I'm, let me get there, let me get there. So, uh, it was a very... Uh, it was a very good starting mo for starting anime for a mecha for what it's worth. It, it started off great. It started off being its own thing. Uh, characters are great. Original. Fights were great, original. It, it was. It felt like it was its own thing. Then the middle part and to the end happened. Okay. Then it started turning it, turning it into a girl in the gun, Uraka, Uraka Seven type deal. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like, just know your role, okay? It felt like the studio was trying to. Stu uh, uh, a TV review said it perfectly. It made it seem like they were trying to get into space too quickly. Mm -hmm. they, it made it feel like they're trying to be Gurren Lagann so badly to have a space battle so badly. And it's just, for what happened was, it's just the pacing was bad and how everything. One of my biggest issues with this series was the fact that none of the characters got fleshed out. It was literally like characters, were, some characters were only there to make other characters look better. Like Ishigo was only there just to make Zero Two look like a better protagonist. I cannot stand that. Fruita Hoshi was just there just to make Kokoro and Mitsuru's relationship better. Like, this whole series was literally just about Hiro, Zero Two, Mitsuru, Kokoro. That's literally about it. 
Goro, like Zorome had one episode and then we saw literally nothing of his character at all. Futahoshi got, we literally had no explanation why Futahoshi stopped eating. We had no explanation. We had nothing to essentially continue Goro and Ichigo's relationship. We didn't even see Zorome and, and uh, what's, her, what's her name, Bond. And then, uh, what's the girl, the, les- the Yuri girl basically got her one, oh, I love you, Ichigo, and then she got walked all over. Like, I, I, like it felt like the series was just about Zero Two and Hiro and Mitsuru and uh, Kokoro, and I'm just like, no. And the one thing, and, and I knew the series was going to go downhill after that episode where Hiro and Zero Two confessed, and then Zero Two's whole thing changed from out of, out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. That made no sense to me. It was just like, just an episode prior, she was hated, everyone didn't like her, blah, blah, blah. And then now, she's obviously loved and she's getting along with everyone. It was it was just very bad when it comes to... Uh, we got a lot of stuff unanswered. A lot of characters just got thrown to the side. And honestly, Hero and Zero Two... I can't even say Zero Two's best girl anymore. Her character was ruined. Yep. It was just like she... And honestly, I would say I like Ichigo better than Zero Two. Seriously, like oh god, I'm gonna get hate hate for that in the comments. But Zero Two had nothing redeeming anymore. Like Like after after she got her memories back, she just she wasn't that interesting anymore. Sad but true. Like I think Giga uh, in one of his videos dissecting Darling and the Franks, you know, said it best. It's like somebody just snorted a line of coke, and it's like. Yeah, big freaking back space battles, you know, and just like, what is it? Uh, how long do we have to get to space? Oh, it's only two port. Fuck! You know, it's <laughs> it's so fucking weird to actually to see. You know, you go from oh one to, one episode you're sitting there on the fucking planet surface, you know, fighting regular battles in the series, and the next you're in fucking space blowing shit up Star Trek style, and it's like what the fuck, like. It, I'm sorry, but, like, this anime was in one of my recommended, you know? This is something I was recommending to people, and they shit the bed so fucking hardcore. And it made me want to gouge my eyes out every episode, you know, after they fucking got to that second core. Because it was just bullshit, 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 bullshit. Let's cuck this character, cuck this character, cuck this character. And I was like, what, what happened? <laughs> like... Once it was just, I don't understand. Like, and and what pisses me off the most is at the end they still go back to Hero and Zero Two. Like, okay, we get it. They're in love. They're meant to be together. This is not Uraka Seven. Jesus Christ. This is literally. I can I see bits and pieces of every popular mecha in this anime. Oh yeah. Space Battle. Uran Lagan. Fucking the the love the love uh, shit. Uraka Seven. The fucking robots in space. Gundam. It's just like. It, it lost all originality in the second pass. It was just like Studio Trigger and A1 was just like, okay, we're done with the series. So we're just going to take picked in pieces of every popular mecha ever created and smash them together. And Literally. It, it, it's... <coughs> it got to the point where I was like, oh yeah, I'm staying with this till the end. And this is why, you know, there are those that can create their own, you know, anime slash manga... You know, from from literally nothing, right? And then there are those that need to be an adaptation. I feel like if this had been a manga first, or light novel first, or anything first, <laughs> it would have been a better as an adaptation. Because Cloverworks, you know, sadly it was this un, untreaded water of, like, studios because it was just, like, bits and pieces of Trigger, bits and pieces of A1... And now this makes me terrified of what the Promised Neverland's adaptation is going to be. When you think about, it. because that's who's doing the the fucking um, the Promised Neverland anime is Cloverworks. So I'm just sitting here after what happened at the end of you know fucking Darling and the Franks, like oh god, it could be worse than the manga. Oh my god, this is starting. It wasn't even an issue about space. Yes, the space was a part of it, but if they had better, like, if they had just, like, ended it at. I wouldn't even mind it if they ended it at that episode and then fucking had a season two and right. then explain all the 
space and shit like that. The, the space part was, didn't wasn't wasn't even the bad part. Exactly. One of the bad. It was just like it was just like all of a sudden, boom, space. Like the Kalaxors as a villain was should have been should have been it. And then we have this oh being from space that came down. Like what is this fucking girl like God? This there's no spot anti spiral. <laughs> there are fucking jewels coming out to destroy humanity. <laughs> Fuck, these are Avas? What the hell? Exactly. Like, it, oh, what the fuck? A- aliens, bro? Uh, like, who wanna wanna combine the world and change it? Up? I was like, okay, anti-spiral. Okay, fucking angels from a- from Evangelion. All right, cool. There was nothing to set the villains apart from the Kalaxors was perfect. You know why? Because the Kalaxor princess had personality. That story makes sense. It was literally, it made you think, okay, if the, if she's saying that you stole our technology, then maybe it'll make you think, who's the real bad guy here, you know? Using our energy to fuel your shit. So, but what I don't understand is, is why the fuck do we have to rush off into space like that? Space, adding space made no, literal no sense. And then the last episode was bullshit. Like, we got time skip, and the time skip, and the time skip, and then... And then, like, oh my god! Ugh. Like last thing, last thing I'll say about this because we'll 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 talk forever about darling how darling and Frank took the bed. One of my things was Hero. Hero, how they kept babying him. Like when girl punched Hero, I was like, yes, fucking finally. Because you know what? This bitch was literally worried about Zero Two the entire time. Never mind the fact that there are people who were worse off than she was. People were really sick. Crocodile was literally pregnant, and all hero were about oh zero two zero two zero two, and then he wanted to fucking fly off into space, and then bro hit him because like bro wake up there are people worse off than you. I fucking love that shit. And then they fucking killed him because they were like oh no hero we're gonna follow you into space and help zero two, and then girl apologized for hitting him. I was like what the fuck you ruined girl's best character development right fucking there. Exactly oh. like, oh. And so it's essentially the. I, I know we talked about this a bit before in other videos. It's the Dragon Ball Z effect. It's continuous fucking escalation with no real de-escalation. It kept trying to see how far it could jump the shark every episode to keep fans on their seat to the point uh. where it was utter absurdity and is living off in nothing more than sheer hype, sheer hype, sheer hype until fans, unlike in the Dragon Ball Z fandom, realized, what the fuck am I watching this is becoming bad. This is becoming cancerous. This is becoming shitty. This is becoming, you know, a shell of its former self, essentially. And fans started to drop off. So, but it just kept on going up, 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 and up. Until it had jumped the shark so much that we have an episode where they were talking about abortion to an episode of where she's giving fucking birth. Like, what the fuck? You... Oh my god! It was just like when they I can I when they actually I had the abortion scene. I was like, you know, in some sick, twisted kind of way. I hope they go through with that because that's something we hadn't actually seen in an anime before. Essentially, that's something that would have you know been like one been one of those scenes that like, what the fuck are they doing? Like a little you know fucking play on real life? Are they doing you know the career over the fucking child aspect of reality that we live in as a society sometimes? You know, that would have been one of those more interesting moments. As fucked up as it is to say, it would have at least been like, well, shit. It would have made the character hated, you know, by one side. And then another one would have been like, well, good for you choosing career over, you know, fucking, you know, family, essentially. When you think about it. That would... Yeah. It was just... It was, I, I, We'll have to say this for another video, I swear, because I have so much hate for this series right now. But my overall rating for it is six. No, I'm no, I'm being too generous. Fucking five. No, stupid too generous. Four. <laughs> I'm going to give it a five. You know, as, as shitty as it is, there's still some good fights in there. There's still, you know, some. Yeah. That first, you know, core of the episodes was some of the best mech series you'll see. And then, mm-hmm. you know, it pulls a little bit of uh, another series that, nah. <laughs> that that's why I gave it a forward because of how how bad it's been. so do we recommend it yeah I recommend that you watch the first half and then stop right there yeah Just, pretty much stop it imagine the second never existed <laughs>
Do you give it a give a couple years and they'll Evangelion in it. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, if you want to walk, darling, darling, in the Ava girl, green, uh, Eureka Seven Franks, uh, just watch the first half and then watch Eureka Seven during Lagan and Ava and Galen, and then you'll basically get the second half of Darling in the Franks. Exactly. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. So, um, oh, these comments are going to be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> so the next anime uh, that I, uh, I've watched, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a. a under the radar anime that most people probably haven't seen is Gege no Kitaro. So now the anime is still ongoing, but I would still <laughs> like to uh, judge it for right now. So to give a little summary, it's basically about uh, a yokai named uh, Gege no Kitaro. Uh, he essentially takes like jobs of uh, stopping uh, yokai from messing with the human world. It's actually a very interesting adventure of the week anime um it reminds me of like old school like uh very very old school waking up to saturday morning cartoons type stuff uh it's a very um interesting interesting series it ha it seems like it has a little bit of, of a plot to it i think the series has been along for a while now i think this might be a remake because on here it says gigi no katara 2018 so i think this might this series might have been something a long time ago i'm not sure but uh uh since I don't think Dave, I don't think you've watched it yet, so no. um, I recommend it for people who are into like Adventure of the Week. I'll. Uh, you, you know what? That, you know what kind of reminds uh, me of? Just looking at it, there's, and this is just you know kind of cheesy. It kind of looks not, like a, a bit of yokai watch. Much, much plot, like a from a. It's like it's building. You'll see <laughs> that and the in the um for the most part they're enjoyable so far. I've been right um character, so I recommend it for people who are really into the Adventure of the Week style series. Okay. So another anime. Uh, go ahead, David. So did you watch the Magical Girl or a? No, I did not. So I did not me, either. <laughs> I watched one I episode watch and I'm like, nope. This is bizarre, <laughs> even for me, man. All right. So the anime that we don't watch, didn't watch last season. Let us know in the comments if you recommend it for us, and then we'll give you our thoughts. Uh, let's talk about um, Seven Deadly Sins, since that's a very popular one. So. Uh, I only, I've only watched to a certain episode because I decided just to catch up with the manga, which I did. Um, for the most part, anime did fairly well for adaptation of the set of the uh, Ten Commandments arc. No complaints. I didn't essentially finish the the, the anime, so I don't really know. Uh, I heard they fucked up the Escanor versus Esther Rosa fight. Uh, you want to know my thoughts on that? Uh, go go check out the Seven Deadly Sins, the first Seven Deadly Sins review we did on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I have uh, never uh, twinged in my chair like a fucking drug addict so much in my life. When uh, Noble brought up the fight, I'm like, nah. <laughs> it, it was so fucking bad. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So. Um, Read the manga. So what you, what would, yeah, um, I would give the for as far as adaptation goes, it's actually pretty good. So I give it like an eight. Adaptation wise, it's decent. If they stay faithful to the fight and you know animate it, you know better and, uh, and cut away like goddamn Ruby fight. Uh, <laughs> we'd uh, I give it a more than a seven because as yeah. much as I hate the anime because of how it fucked up that one fight. Because that is a pivotal fight in the series. Mm-hmm. You know, it it's still a pretty faithful story-wise adaptation. Yeah. So I give it a solid eight. Uh, do we recommend it? Of course we do. Great series. Although, like all of them, I recommend reading the manga, but, you know, if you're <laughs> anime-only twat, then go ahead. I recommend the, the anime. All right. So, um, Golden Kamui, did you watch it? 
Yes, I did. <laughs> One of the gems of this season. You know, there was a point when we didn't even know what the fuck this series was, man. <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> Remember that from uh, the uh, Anime Awards? Hashtag, hashtag <laughs> the Anime Awards. <laughs> Uh, I added the manga to my to my watch list too. The same, because this this series is pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I had no idea what it was until the anime awards, and they were talking about in the manga category. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is any of this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? So I uh, so um, judging from so Dave, you did watch it, right? Yes, I did. Uh, so. There's not much really I can say about it, to be honest. I honestly, I I liked it. It was very, very interesting, uh, very original. Uh, characters were great. Action was great. Animation was solid. Great opening scene. One of the best opening scenes of the season. Uh, ending was even, even ending was even fucking phenomenal too. Really great. Both of them were on my phone. Uh, now uh, I, I I don't know if it if it's good to the source material because I didn't watch the I didn't read the manga the manga is only like six hundred and something no one hundred and sixty eight something chapters so it's not that long of a manga it's still fairly uh, not I wouldn't say new but still fairly short when it comes to as far as manga goes and I believe the uh, season two has already been announced for uh, fall of this year. So uh, overall, I have to give it like a nine. Um, great fight, character interactions were great. Uh, no, 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 written, more, more positive than negative. To be honest, I don't really have any negatives for this series. The the only negative I would say that I would have is there are parts in it where it, it suffers from that thing that a lot of anime suffer through from. Is you, there's some noticeable cuts in the animation frames, but that's a lot. That's really common in these, you know, shorter cores of fucking anime. But aside from that, this is really, really fucking solid. It's something I actually have to get caught up on the manga. Because I really don't want to wait till fall to actually experience any more of it. And I'd like to know how <laughs> faithful it was to it. There's so much I have to get caught up on right now. That I can't fucking yeah. catch up on everything. Um, yeah, you, 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 can, uh, you can read that manga in a week. It's not that long. Oh, yeah. Definitely. The first one I got to get caught up on is Dr. Stone. <laughs> 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 all right so uh next up um i want to talk about another underrated series which is ongoing currently um it's, it's another mecha anime it's called jushinki pandora now uh most people probably haven't even heard of this series but uh as nope. far as as <laughs> as far as series goes I'd say most people would be turned off by it. Uh, the animation is not that good, in my opinion. Uh, very basic when it comes to animation. Uh, characters aren't really that great either. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Why I'm still watching this series. In fact, it's, it's usually not something I usually watch, but it's 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 kind of like a guilty pleasure because it, honestly, this anime is not really bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not terrible. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. You know, it's like. I feel like, um, as someone who's trying to get into more mecha series, uh, I'm watching it, but it has a little something that has me entranced with it, at a sense. Because the animation is not that great, the characters aren't are all right, but and the fight scenes are mediocre. But it's just something that I'm enjoying right now. It's kind of hard. It's an original series too, so that's why I'm kind of like, hmm. But, uh, you know, when they're those original series, it's very hard to really judge if it'll actually, you know, be adapted or adapted into like a, a fucking a manga, or if it'll be adapted into you know a light novel, or if it's just going to exist as this fucking this anime. So it's uh, one of those that definitely you'd have to, I guess, watch and judge to see if it's even worthy of that. Like you said, it's not anything really super out there story-wise or animation-wise, so it probably won't. It'll kind of be like uh, Black Rock Shooter. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I just didn't watch that. It's eight episodes. It's something that you can't really find very easily anymore because it's 
kind of been delicensed everywhere and she's now exists solely as like a fucking Miku model. <laughs> but it, was, yeah. it was a fucking guilty pleasure anime of mine. Um, it's super fucking out there, but yeah. Um, yeah, so um, I, for right now, uh, I give it a solid six because uh, because of a, it's kind of keeping me entranced. Might be too polite of a score, but it is what it is. Um, okay. Do we recommend it? Do I recommend it? If you're into mecha series, sure. I mean, mecha fans uh, have been able to watch everything besides Darling and Franks. So, <laughs> uh, them. God damn it. I'm so, going a lot uh, filtering through these comments. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> If you're into mecha series and this is something or app you out, then sure, I recommend it. If you're just an avid uh, anime reader, prob- anime watcher, probably not. Okay, so uh, let, let's dive into the other elephant in the room. High School DxD. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, boy. okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this for right now. Wasn't a fan of season three because it didn't stay faithful to the source material. Definitely oh, yeah, not. You, you read the novel, huh? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, I read the, the manga and all that shit. And ugh, the season three had me wanting to rip my sack off. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, season four has me just about the same place. I don't know if it's, the animation that's turning me off, if it's the, sh- the way they they self retconned a lot of the shit that they kind of did in season three in a cheeky manner, or if it's just like, what the... F- they essentially reanimated two episodes from the third season when you think about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, what... Okay, couldn't you just said, okay, watch these two episodes and then come into this fucking... <laughs> like... It is definitely it's got me at odds with the series right now. Uh, and all all, all <clears throat> thing I can describe each the ass as a guilty pleasure. I was so hyped about this series back when I was in high school. Now I'm just like, what the fuck am I even watching? I have to force myself to watch this damn thing, man. It was mm. just like I was just like Issei, like Issei getting power ups because of boobs. Like, oh my god, come on! Like, uh, like oh by uh, his life. I am honestly the only thing I can call uh, high school DxD is a guilty pleasure. Exactly. I still enjoy it, but it's just a guilty pleasure. That's really all it is. Honestly, like um, the fights, the fights are really good. I, I do give a credit that the fights are really well done. Um, but other than that, I mean, I really don't like his harm. I think each his harm is very overrated. Oh, of course it is. Uh, like, I, I, I um, I'm still a knocking up. An Akino fan, though, but goddamn. Uh, that's just me. It suffers from that uh, trend that Harm series usually do is the, oh, it's very obvious he's going to pick Rias type thing. It's kind of like, oh, yeah. is there going to pick main heroine number one? So, I mean, it's just, apparently in the, in the, in the, in the light novel, he actually picks all of them. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I don't know how that works when he just said he loved Rias, but I, I think, yeah. They, Basically, it, it, it's some bullshit. Uh, uh, we'll save that for when the anime eventually wraps up, or if it ever wraps up, because after the ratings for this one, I don't know if we'll get a fifth season. <laughs> Is the light novel over? It's... I don't know if the light novel's over right now or not, to be honest, because we're so far behind here in America and pretty much every release. Um, but I'm up to date on what we have here in America. But... And I don't bother keeping track of any of that anymore because I buy so much shit at this point. It pains me to look at my fucking bank statement. (laughs) Uh, But what I will say is based on the animation, based on the fights, based on, you know, some of that... Because the animation's, you know, more faithful to the the manga covers, the, you know, shit like that. So I'll give them credit for trying something new. I'll give them credit for, you know, attempting to animate in a new style and as somebody that's, you know, tinkered with programming and animating and shit like that, you know, it's not easy. So I'll give them credit for on the fly doing this new style. 
So this style wasn't that bad, in my opinion. No, it's not. It, it, a lot cheaper is why they're doing it. Uh, but on that alone, like I'm giving it a six and a half. I still want to end myself every time I watch this series because of how <laughs> uh, how cringy you say can be sometimes. <laughs> We get it. You like boobs. Boobs give you power ups, but goddamn, yeah. Dude. Just, just get <laughs> yeah. some, get some pussy, and you know, move on with your life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I, I give it a, a six and a half as well. Do we recommend it? Read the, I mean, read the source material. Like, yeah, at this point, at this point, this is like the fourth season of High School Digs of D, so we can't really recommend it or not. <laughs> you're either watching it or you're not at this point. There's, yeah, there's no real I mean, in between. Um, and the other one, I I know you probably didn't watch it, so I'll, I'll dive into it. Sword Art Online, Gun Gale Online, alternative uh, bullshit. Yeah, this is all you. <laughs> oh my god. So, SAO without Jesus Coon is pretty damn good, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, this... Her love of her weapon, and uh, it's just fucking bizarre as hell, but I, I get it, you know, you're playing on the tropes, like, your gun's your baby, blah, 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 you're playing on almost, uh, like, the Americanization of guns here, but it, is, it was definitely a trip to see somebody else in the spotlight and see references to, like, references to the SAO game, references, you know, you know, the other series and all that shit, it was rather a bizarre, you know, departure, but at the same time, I was stuck on every fucking moment of this so i'm definitely going to recommend this if you're a fan of sao you're a fan of shooters like call of duty or PUBG or <laughs> anything like that but what i also am super hyped for and you are just going to dog me on it is i'm super hyped that they you know gave a teaser for sao season three and we know it's coming out i believe in the fall season uh, i saw an october date so it's Fucking, uh, that's got me hyped. I'll be sitting down watching that religiously as well. Because so what's the rating? Uh, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. The only thing that I didn't like was the fact that we're we might not see this character again. You know, because this is one of the many, many, many spinoffs, and I don't know if they're going to do like girl ops or they're going to do fucking the progressive or they're going to do any of the other you know bullshit that we've seen. You know. Because, like Dragon Ball Z, SAO has become a cash cow for the fucking imprint, so... Mm -hmm. Like a little climax imprint. Yeah. So, it, if we get a season two of this, it's definitely going to get a higher rating, uh, as long as it stays as good or better than this was, but... We'll see. I'm pretty sure you watched Megalobox, right? Yes, I did. Uh, Alrighty. So, um, just right off the bat... Rating 10 out of 10. Yeah, right. Straight 10. <laughs> um, great. I believe it was supposed to be a uh, honor to uh, Ashton No Joe because it was the 50th, 50th anniversary of the, of the franchise. I believe it is. Um, um, I have to say, I, this is my first ever boxing anime that I've watched, and after it, I guarantee you I'm definitely going to check out. Uh, Ashton no Joe manga and the uh, Hajime no Ibo manga for sure. Uh, great, uh, great music, great soundtrack. I Dude. love Joe. I'm really happy that he won. Like he was uh, spoiler alert, he was undefeated because of uh, because it, it doesn't it doesn't really seem like a cop out. It doesn't seem like uh, you know you know how some people complain about how like their the main character always wins. I he don't struggled for mind. this one. Yeah, I don't mind that if there's a if there's a struggle. Like he obviously struggled, and then because at this point, if I see him struggling, I was like, yeah, I want him to win. I want him to win. So at this point, I'm really happy that it's one of those series that does the hero in type of series because it does it well. Characters are great. Uh, fights were phenomenal. Uh, honestly, I thought it was gonna be longer than than what it was. 13 episodes, but actually really, really good. Um, no complaints, honestly. No no known negatives about the series that I could say. Fairly enjoyed it. Hyped every week. So I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It, and It was definitely one of the best, you know, anime of the season. I'm not a boxing guy, and I was drawn to this. 
So if that says anything about the series, if somebody that fucking despises boxing, thinks it's overrated, thinks it's one of the stupidest sports on the fucking planet, because it's just two dudes running around in circles for fucking 60 minutes, essentially, or for two seconds if somebody gets a lucky hit. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's fucking pointless to me, but I enjoyed this because one of my friends recommended this. I'm like, eh, it's three episodes at the time, and I'm like, holy shit, this hat actually entertains me. And, you know, that, so for something like that to actually, you know, draw me in like that, it's definitely wor worth a watch. It's something that I can unbiasedly, you know, say that you really, if you're into that kind of thing, or even if you're not, this, this could be a series for you. Do you want to touch on anything that's come out this season to kind of wrap this up? Uh, no, this is, a, this is a, probably just like probably one or two anime that I want to talk about before we wrap this up. I'm just going to make this really quick because I'm, I, I don't think you've watched some of these series I'm about to mention. So I'm just doing like a quick little uh, runner-up uh, runner uh, thing here. Uh, Grand Quest, Senki. Uh, it kind of had a Darling and the Franks vibe, although I did, I, I've only really liked it because because I like the war aspect of it. Characters were not that good. Uh, uh, the main character was really, really bad. Main heroine was really, really bad. But I mean, if you're into that type of war stuff, then I recommend it. So Grand Quest, I would definitely give it a, a five re re recommended for people. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, it would be something a lot of people would like. Um, it's a light novel series to read for some serial. Uh, Tohu no Miko. Shitty series all around. Uh, didn't like the characters. The fights were decent enough, but didn't couldn't save it. Very uh, generic uh, story. Uh, nothing really to set itself apart from anything uh, from a season. So I give it like a three out of three out of ten. But I recommend it. No. Um, Hakio Hoshin Engi. Now this is a series that that I didn't even know was a manga, but is it? It's been uh, around, it was like, it was in Jump Act, it was a Jump series uh, back in the 90s. Very, very, apparently very popular. Um, Nani? Yeah. So, uh, I heard in Japan that people really didn't like this anime. Like, there's a petition to get it off the air because of how bad it was. That's how pissed people were about it. So, for me, I would say I fairly enjoyed it. I love the fights. I love the main character, Takobo. I love how smart he is. Very different from your average shonen protagonist. Characters were great. Fights were great. Powers were amazing. Uh, it would kind of be confusing to people, plot-wise. But So, I suggest, because I'm reading, I started reading the manga. I'm on episode, I'm on ugh, chapter two. Very long chapters, like 30, 48 chapters, but this is the 90s, so... Yeah, uh, there were a lot of different standards back then, man. <laughs> so, uh, what I recommended for sure, although I think reading the source material would probably be better so you won't be confused, but as an anime, as far as the anime goes, I loved it. I give it a 10 out of 10, to be honest. Very great. Uh, I definitely recommend it for people who are into the shonen trope. Um, Beatless. Um, another another kind of guilty pleasure. <laughs> Another guilty pleasure. Uh, very, I feel like people. This would be a hit and hit or miss for some people. Oh, you're um, not wrong there. <laughs> hit or miss for some people. I didn't hate it. Of course, there were some issues. There were a lot of issues. <laughs> but I, I think, I think it, it was it, the series got better as, as it as it progressed. It did. So I, uh, I have no complaints. I give it like an eight point five. Um, I really fairly enjoyed it. Um, characters were cool. I wish Endo would have gone to spy in a bit. He kind of did, but not in the way I want him to. Uh, kind of upset that Coca died. Spoiler, so. Other than that, uh, really good, really good. Um, didn't bother watching Boruto. Didn't even bother watching uh, Oh, IQ. wee, Boruto. <laughs> oh, just end me. One piece is one piece. So, I mean, take, a, take that as you will. <laughs> Um, you either like it or you hate it. Uh, that's how yeah. One Piece is. You know, you, you get you get to Arlong, you, you don't like it, quit. Um, because that's what hooks 90% of the people is the Arlong, you know, arc. Mm -hmm. um, that's what actually hooked me once I actually dove into it. But Boruto, uh, 
board, so it just just needs to die. It, <laughs> like you milk Naruto, you're making Boruto. You know this fucking bizarre amalgamation of characters at this point, like fucking tech weapons. You fucking just no, no. If you read the manga, like <laughs> I have. You know, it, it, you see where this series is going to go, and you're like, what the fuck is this dude smoking at this point? It, it, it's gotten to the point where it just, it's jumped the shark Dragon Ball Z style, it needs to stop. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I can't recommend it. Unless you're, a Nar unless you're a hardcore Naruto fan, I cannot recommend this series. And I'm a hardcore Naruto fan, and I want it to fucking end. <laughs> <laughs> so uh your rating and rec would you recommend it no no i would not unless you are of the mindset of like naruto can it consist on just continuing to fuck with people and then yeah i'll recommend it but you know to the casual like naruto fan to the people that don't know what the fuck naruto is or how you don't know what naruto is is beyond me but you know, those people no i can't recommend it with a clear conscience uh persona Five, the anime um, 10 out of 10 if you love the Persona series you'll love the fucking you know any of the games go watch this this is pretty goddamn faithful to the game what they can adapt anyway uh, <laughs> and keep a rating uh, <laughs> but it's definitely one of the, the sleeper hits of the fucking season so go watch that mm -hmm. this is uh, Los Tarate Conflict I'm not even going to pronounce it. Just, just, you'll see it when it pops up when we edit it in. Uh, card is a season finale of the season series finale of the game. Uh, it was a great uh, the series. Of, uh, see, I started the series in like the its third season, I guess. Because this series has been wrong for a while now. But honestly, I have to give it a five. It just, it just feels like a, a poor man's Yu-Gi-Oh! With, with girls in it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the other seasons were probably better, but it was just left a really bad taste in my mouth. It's it's just like I it, it made me want the bad guy to win. That's how bad. It was. Um. So, if you like card games, like I like I do, it'll jump right in. But uh, if you're a big fan of the series, then well, I have to say that I'm not a fan. But I watched it anyway, so I give it like a, a five. Would I recommend it for card for people who are in trading card series? Sure. Um, another series is uh, Tachi Tachi Banana Con Triangle. Essentially, a Yuri series, uh, a short Yuri series. Um, I was not expecting to like this series as much as I did. I have to give it a ten, mostly because of the fact that it was just very adorable. It's a very adorable thing to watch. Like it makes you smile. Like I didn't, I didn't frown a single once while I was watching this, this series. Like it just makes you happy. It, it, it's essentially the main character has the lucky, lucky pervert syndrome, you know, like that the Rito and other and Issei has. But I don't think Issei has it. But uh, so no, Issei gets his ass kicked enough to not be lucky. Yeah. So uh, it's it's uh, um it's. I wouldn't recommend it for like hardcore anime watchers, but if you're just into looking, watching something to pass your time, adorable, uh, it's a very heartfelt, sweet anime. Um, I'd recommend it for people who are, who are into uh, one, not really one shot before, into Yuri, although it's not, it's not really that heavy on the Yuri part, but you know, it's a very sweet anime. It's a very, it makes you happy. I recommend it for free. David. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but uh, nope. I have the manga in my recommend in my thing. I recommend it. Just go ahead and watch it. Episode only three minutes long. Not Damn. that long. Damn, three minutes. I, I got that while I'm on the shitter. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a it's a four coma series, so it's 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 not gonna last that very long. So it'll make you happy. Um, another one is this. Dragon anime, which I fairly enjoyed. I give it an eight. Great characters, great action. Um, probably want to read a light novel for plot because the plot in the series doesn't really make sense. That's the only turn off. That's why it's an eight instead of a nine. But uh, other than that, no complaints. Great animation. 
Um, characters are, are likable. It was very enjoyable. Not just been watchable, it was enjoyable. So if you're a fan of sci-fi, I recommend it for fans who are fans of sci-fi and uh, very uh, generic action. All right. And the final anime I want to talk about is uh, Hino, Hina Mama Satiri. It's a comedy series. This, like the Triangle series, made me made me smile. Like this is a very very sweet series. It was. It's not. It's not. It's not like your Gintamas or your Kosunabas, but as far as comedy goes, it'll it'll uh, it'll have a bit of a bow. It gave me the Gintama slash consumer vibe except in a different sense mm-hmm. it's a very very sweet uh have you seen the series have you seen the anime david yeah this okay, is the one i actually uh watched the season i didn't watch a whole lot this season because i've been in the process of moving so <laughs> so uh i've been talking for a while so you can give me your thoughts on this series the, this is one of the most wholesome series i've seen in a long time it's it like you said it puts a fucking smile right on your face no matter how out there it is in the fantasy aspect you know but it's it's definitely definitely worth watching and it's one that you're going to see a lot of at the anime awards because if you know anything about Crunchyroll and how they handle things what they market on their facebook and their twitter is what's going to be a nominated <laughs> yeah I, I would definitely nominate this for best comedy man it's Really, I really, I had the, I, I put the manga in my recommended list. This manga is really, 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 uh, really good to me. One of my favorites of this season, actually. Seriously, like yeah. I can't, I can't begin the fact. Like when I first start, I came in, I actually came in because I, I came from Gigit's, Gigit's, uh, the Hina uh spring recommend- anime, uh, yep, winter anime in a nutshell, and I saw it. I was just like, I'm giving a shot. I'm, I instantly fell in love with it. So I. I give this series a ten out of ten for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, would I rec- would we recommend it? Hell yeah, man! If you're into comedy, into the sci-fi shit, into like uh, random random uh, shit, like basically if you're into Kosunuba and Gintama, this you'll, this series will be right up your alley. Exactly. Read all the, the source material. I'm pretty sure we said that about, like ten times already, but yeah, man. Yeah. The- and this is something we're going to do for, like, every every season. Like, I have a lot more, you know, free time because I'm not packing up my entire life and moving it across mm-hmm. across city right now. Um, so I'll be watching more this season so I can weigh in a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Can't wait to be of this of summer season. Right now, uh, if you're not watching Cells at Work, you're a heathen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> protect the fucking cells. Protect. <laughs> all right uh, uh so um over, overall uh rank overall rating for the season out of 20 i give it a 17 yeah it, this 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 season was pretty damn good a couple that shit the bad like we talked about but you know every season you have those those ones that aren't worth your time near the end so that's why you drop shit uh <laughs> unless you're us and this uh <laughs> And we suffer through it, but yeah. So yeah, that's about right for rating, man. But yeah, yeah uh, see you next season for this. Peace. Later. <laughs>